GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the search for Souls Lost City scenario season one with episode, um, I think it's 13. And here we are at the dawn of a new day and I will show you what has been done to the base so let's just let the sun come up here and we'll have a good view of what I've done so we'll just enjoy this beautiful sunset although the uh, now let's get rid of that Absolutely gorgeous. Good morning, world. Or moon, I should say. I'm here to conquer you. So apparently, if you guys haven't seen what Alpha 8 is coming uh, in the next few weeks, experimental anyway, uh, I'm assuming probably another month and a half or so at least for uh, for it to be pushed to public or stable I guess you want to say um, and it's going to be giant worlds like this but procedurally generated uh, better AI, AI so the critters are going to be smarter uh, I think interact. I think there's going to be interaction with NPCs and stuff like that too, or maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm reading into it more, but it sounds pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool. So I haven't thrown a generator in here yet, but I pretty much now keep in mind this is not textured or painted yet. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting how wood does that. I don't know why. I can make it stick out past concrete if I run it too far. That's weird, eh? Let's clean that up really quick. We'll just pop out. Spawn our drone. And get this removed. That was from construction that I did on the second floor, which I'll go in and show you guys here. Now that the sun's coming up, we'll be able to see. Without the power on, it's really hard to see in there. Okay. Facing the wrong way. Let's jump back in. So, this is so far... I know it just looks like a... It just looks like a box right now, but... I mean, basically that's what it is a box um, <laughs> but I may or may not expand it in the future right now it's actually pretty big and it's gonna serve all my needs I need uh, oh actually you know what before we throw the stuff in power it up while I'm up here let's quickly um, oh actually I need the iron yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to do the upgrades later. I need the iron right now to make the turrets. So let's not spend it on upgrading the towers when I have no turrets to put on them, right? Okay. So let's just park here. So we'll come flying in. Oops. And. This is kind of our garage, but it come, it leads to a, well, an empty area right now, but I've got a couple of advanced constructors in here right now, and 
basically. This is all the equipment I brought with me. <coughs> Let's land. Oops. Okay. Make sure my... That's turned on. Okay. So, I have queued up, I put everything in here, and I've queued up the a couple more minigun turrets, because I've got one that I looted from somewhere. Uh, so I've got a couple of large generators, some fuel tanks, the solar panel blocks, and the solar capacitor to put in. Um, and then these, as soon as I put in some fuel and fire it up, these will start spinning up. I've already got... I'll show you in here. I've got the furnace in and a ammunition box so far. I've got elevator up to the to my little to my area. So this is going to be <clears throat> basically my bedroom, eating area, my my apartment really up here where all the wood is. Nice wood floors. And then over here is going to be my garden. Uh, I didn't have enough plots to fill it out, obviously. It's because it's pretty big. But it's going to give us a good start. It'll give us a really good start. So currently, if we look at the statistics, uh, it is currently size class two and a half, really. And... Um, so I haven't powered it up yet. That might that might hit size class three once it's all said and done, probably with some deco and stuff. Um, it's got 138 growing plots so far. So that's how many are here. That's 138. And obviously we need a lot more than that. We're going to need a couple hundred more at least just to fill out this section and then probably you know another 150 for the other side so probably another 350 plots I would say uh, that'll probably bring us close to about 500 plots will fit in here I think I know that's kind of crazy but whatever that's that's me that's me in a nutshell a nut in a shell it just happens to be heavy armor right now okay uh, so yeah I've got some my food processor and a couple of t2 fridges up here because this is where I'm going to be picking all the the vegetables and bringing them here and processing them right so and if I need to I can always access this stuff through the control panel so it's not that big of a deal I have sealed this off with a door you can see an automatic door now I probably We'll be punching that up through the ceiling at some point, <clears throat> but I'll put a I'll put a door. What I can do is, is this the color? Is this color? Yeah, no, that's not color. That's the color. So what I can do is I'll color this right there, and let's do. Um, Green for rem or yellow for removal. There we go. Oh, actually, I need that ply hole block. Okay, so now when I go upstairs, I'll put the door on where that is. Um, I just got to put another block beside it or something to hold the door. When I and then I pop that out and I run the a couple more elevators down. So. I'll one, two, probably two elevators. I'll just have a break there and have to jump into it. That's fine. Okay. So I've got some grow lights up. A dozen right now. I don't have enough sprouts for all this anyway. So we'll be, uh, as, as the sprouts grow, as I get more sprouts, we'll be shifting them around and building more plots. Well, I think it's probably time... To fire this puppy up and deal with the drone attack that's imminent. So let's do this. Let's do this. 
what I what I want to do is I want to put I want to put the generators let's see uh, I want to turn these it's probably too much generator for what this place needs but I could probably get away with one of these and the solar panel I'm sure would be just fine uh, here let's flip that up like that and I want to turn this put as soon as I put this up it's gonna it's gonna actually trigger it I think so let's try let's try actually I want to experiment here uh, let's try fuel tanks first and see what happens so I, I have a spot up at the top here where I can put these two three and four okay that didn't trigger it um, Hmm, you know what? Actually, I don't really like this here. What I want to do... Let's just pick that up. Um, actually, what I want to do... Let's try the capacitor. We'll try the capacitor and see if that triggers it. I want to put that right here. Because that doesn't give off any radiation or anything. So I want to put that here. Which way? There's the panel there. Do I want it facing that way or that way? Let's do this way. And nothing. Huh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Let's put the uh, ammo box back. Uh, on top there is fine. Okay. So the fuel, what about if we put fuel in? Let's try putting fuel in. Hardly put any in. You know, we'll have to put all this in. A few of these too. Okay. So lots of fuel. Okay, that did not seem to trigger it. Let's try the solar panel blocks now. So we're going to have to go outside for that. Okay, so the solar panels, let's see, um, the sun comes across like that, so, whoops, <laughs> uh, oh, I just hit a bird, whoops, um, So I'm thinking south facing, right? Doesn't it? It's hard to tell. It looks like the sun is going to cross to the south there. Okay. Let's try. Um, here, we'll just. We'll set down. We'll set down. 
and we'll jump out and let's get our drone going here okay so we want it facing either flat or on an angle so if we this this might not be too bad like this like right here like this Yeah, let's do this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's breaking? What's breaking? I heard stuff break. Really? What's breaking? Didn't you hear stuff break? I heard stuff break. It's like an audio illusion or something I don't know my wait the capacitor blew up wait I what you gotta be kidding me I I have no words for that Wait, it, it overloaded it and blew it up? Well, so it was defective? Wait, what the heck? Okay, so I've got to put the panels on first? I don't remember having to do that. Oh my goodness. Sometimes structural integrity in this game can just drive a person nuts wow um i'm telling you that's just it's just wrong it's wrong uh can i just oh i can put i can just put them out to the side here too right that's cool let's do that so put them up top but I want to keep the area clear up there so if we raise it a bit that's okay so let's do that okay and then we should be able to come off the sides of the building so that's raised a bit let's raise this too then Yeah, that's 12 of them up. Not so bad. Not so bad. I only destroyed the capacitor in the process. <sighs> so I can't even... Oh, see, those are in the shade. Huh. Ah, they'll be okay. What about down here? Can we put a couple? They look like they'll be in the sun here. Right? Yeah. Well, we can do the other side, I guess. I don't really want anything on the other side in case it gets shot at, realistically. Although we can do more on the on the wing here, we can poke them out the side. Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll do it right here. Or you know, pop our drone. Let's get closer.
So I'm wondering if it's a combination of the capacitor and the panels together that'll trigger it. We'll see. Let's see. And we'll get this these last couple panels up. Let's move it back one. That way they don't interfere with each other. I know I won't be able to fit as many because of that, but I don't care. Okay, I've only got two left that I can place. Uh, okay. We'll try that. We'll try 18. We'll go with 18. I could probably stick more out on the sides a couple of those. That's okay. We'll do 18. We'll do 18. Okay, so it's not much to look at right now. It's actually kind of ugly. Once I get it painted up, I'll get some texturing on there. We'll probably move those, the solar panels. It's just right now I want to get them up there, right? I just want them up. Okay, so I guess... What I'm going to have to do is build another capacitor. So I got to. That really sucked that it blew up placing a panel on the other side of the building. That just. Tsh, that's just wrong. It's just wrong. Okay, so I gotta get some stuff out of here to do that. So let's just grab. Oh, you know what? I can just. I'll just use some raw ore. And then whatever it. Um... Now that should just take the basics, right? probably good to leave the basic three types on the ship anyway. Okay, so let's see if it'll let us build another one. Yep. So we'll spin that up. That's just weird that it blew that up. I don't know if it was a structural integrity thing or uh, I just did it the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But unfortunately, we've missed a whole bunch of our daylight now, so we're not gonna we're not gonna benefit from the. The uh, solar capacitor that much. curious if this triggers drone attacks. I don't know. I've never actually just powered up a base with a solar capacitor before. That's the first thing. So this is new to me. I'm testing it. I know if I looked it up, 
probably other people have already figured it out. Okay, so let's get this put in. Let's put it back where it was. Boom. Nothing blew up. Okay, so let's... Let's see if we can turn the base on. Ooh, it's good. look at that. It's just powering it. Wow. Wow. It's charging. Right off the bat. Look at that. Oop, size class 3. So, why is that? Why did it go size class 3? Is it because now I have solar panels and a... Okay. So, wow, it's actually pulling in some decent power. You can see it's charging up without the base turned on. That's great. That did not trigger a drone base attack. That did not trigger a drone base attack. Huh. Okay, I think I should turn it on then. And we'll leave the generators off for now. If, how much, it's 20%. What do we got on time? Another three minutes. Okay, let's try it. Let's try. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do it. We're going to power it up. Okay, we've got power. Strictly solar power, but that's okay. Everything's powered up. This should be now constructing. It is. Come on. Maybe. Is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Nice. Okay. Excellent. It didn't need to construct a lot of stuff for each one because I had a lot of parts already in there. I'm just not sure if I'll have enough. Now, oh, right. The uh, Got to turn the... Um, Furnace. Oh yeah, that's spinning up. Nice. Okay. So let's put that in the constructor because I'm going to run out of iron if I don't. Okay, that has not triggered a drone base attack yet. Solar panels are, let's take a look at this. Current output, oh, and then consumption, power left, eight, 30 something. So is that still going up? Is that 19%? No, it looks like it's going down now. Yeah, because the furnace is drawing energy, right? So let's see. Oh, and, and, Well, I'm not sure. It shows that I'm not. Got any output at all. Power's on. It's holding really steady. Well, no, it's going down. Okay. It's because the furnace consumes a ton of electricity, just a ton. It's okay. OK, 
Okay. Let's go into the small ammo box and throw this in there. So we've got ammo ready to go. Well, I guess we should trigger the drone base attacks then. Although it's going to be dark really soon. It's going to be dark really soon. It's kind of cool that this whole thing is running on just solar right now, eh? I guess if I had charged it up to 100% before I turned it on, it might have lasted all night, maybe. I doubt it. Not with the furnace on. Okay. So now, I should be able to make this my home spawn. Yep. Yeah, it's going. The capacitor is draining, obviously, because I don't have a generator on there, and daylight's almost gone. Um, let's crank these lights up. I like just cranking the range right up. The intensity I don't really like past two. It starts really creating a a real hazy wash. And I'm not really into that. Okay, so let's see. There we go. A little bit more light here now. Okay. Um well, I guess, I guess I really should get a generator going, because that's going to flame out pretty quick, and I want to get some, I want to get stuff growing, so, yeah, I need some more lights too, let's get some more lights made. Twenty of those made. Probably gonna need some flares for the roof. Uh, oh, we're gonna need more elevator blocks. A couple more of those at least. Uh, we can make an ATM. <laughs> uh, and then need another door for the roof. We can make a repair station. It's not a bad idea. Nanotubes, power coil, energy matrix, got lots of cobalt. Let's do that. Let's make one. We don't have one. And I've got a damaged drill right now, so I think uh, I think that's a good thing to make. Um, do we need a third constructor? I'm not sh so sure. I've got the furnace for smelting, so... Not so sure about that. How's my energy? Down to 13%. Okay, so we're going to have to put these. We're going to have to put this in here. And just fend off attacks at night then. It's just the way it is. So let's get this up here. So I'm just going to put them both in right here. There we go. And now that should trigger drone base attack. Um, so we're going to have to rush out and get these, get these turrets up. Okay. <clears throat> up. Now I'm assuming, so it hasn't triggered a drone base attack yet. 
Now I'm not sure if there's like a grace period or something for this play field. It's kind of unusual. It's not a starting planet, I don't think, is it? I'm not sure if it was. It might have been. I don't think so though, because there's no natural silicon here. Okay, let's do this. Uh, actually, I want that facing towards the drone base. So is that centered? There we go. And there, that should trigger it now. That should trigger a drone base attack. <laughs> So those three minigun turrets should have no problems defending our base. And actually, you know what I'm going to do here? Actually, here, let's, let's quickly just destroy our groupings. <laughs> That's okay. That's not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> um... What I'm going to do is go into these turrets, though. And I don't want them shooting at predators, warp drives, thrusters, or generators. Okay. Okay, well... Let's, did I grab the stuff that it was making? Now was that in, now I can't remember what I, where I was making that. Or was I making that? It must have been in this one. Oh, wait, that's the wrong constructor now. Oh no, I made it. Okay, so that and that. So we can just use, just use one of these. Okay, so. there for now. It's just for something so the door doesn't get destroyed when I pop the uh, block underneath it. Okay, so let's... Is that the door we want? I think we want the smooth one. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so now... Block, the wood block should be holding it in place if I pop this. Okay. And then we'll get the elevators in. Okay, so one there. One there. There we go. That should be good enough. We should now have a sealed environment still inside here. Need some lights in here too. Oh, there we go. Drones are on the way. Drones are on the way. Woohoo! Took a while. Uh, oh. Here, let's just... We'll just, uh, we'll just land, I think. Or should we go out to greet them? <coughs> Which 
Should we go out to greet them? What do you think? 295. My base has a longer range than I do. I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind getting them on... the drone that's the platform there but with that other base right there I don't want to I don't want to shoot them down within range of that base probably gonna have to deal with that base I guess I, I can't see its name. Let's let's see how close we can get to it before we get within range. I want to see where. Oh, drones are already coming. Okay, so let's just back off a bit. I wouldn't mind. Uh, Golems on this planet? Uh, wow. Okay, I did not know that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I've got to make a HV really quick and go harvest those guys. Awesome. I mean, I can shoot them up with... Are these guys coming or what? issues like I don't get it why are they taking so long oh they're large ones nice so a base attack drone and a large mini come on guys hurry up wow they are slow I just want to get them a little bit further. See if we can get them out into the open a little bit more here. Awesome. Those are the 
missiles I'm currently using, too. Just go like this. Hello. Look at that. Nice. Love it. Oh, let's get all this managed here. Okay. Okay. So, that's cool. That's super cool. Oh, right. Let's kill some of these golems. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so we're gonna get a whole bunch of things pissed at us, right? If I do it from way far back. Spider. These guys. Okay. this guy's got nice gold wow Prometheum oh I love the, some of the best loot in the game for creatures I tell you I tell you it's really awesome no I already got that didn't I yeah. look at that some silicone love it look at all the essential ores plus stone and Prometheum and rare ores? Wow. That's really cool. Is there any more? Yep, there's another one. Oh, I pissed him off. I guess I could get the meat from these guys. You know, I should do that. I should get the bits and the meat from these guys. Ooh, Neo. Ooh, magnesium too. Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, so, that other base is going to be a problem if we come hunt over here. Even though it's dark out, I think we should still deal with it. I think we should still see if we can take out its turrets at least. See what shoots at us. Weapons factory. We gotta figure out where the turrets are on it. Whoa! Um. Wow. Okay, that's scary. How am I going to do that? I'm going to take a beating. Whew. So that means i got to change my angle quite a bit. Because I can't be getting shot at by all of them at once. Since they can shoot straight up. What I want to do then... Is come down on an angle... where only a couple of the turrets can get to me. So let's try over here a bit. I'm not sure if I, I should have enough missiles to do this. Jesus! Can we get a little lower? 
Okay, so there's only two of them shooting there. Whereabouts? first I've got such a big range on me it's not fair what's that a sathium meteorite <laughs> how cool is that Check out my damage here. Okay, so it blew up blocks there and there. Oof. So that was my light. So my headlight, not a big deal. I'm expecting that, to, but it, it popped that. That's kind of surprising. Okay. I'm not surprised about the light. I don't really care so much. So let's get down really low. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's ridiculous. That is just insane. Whew. Huh. I might have to strafe it with, um, That's a little crazy. Let's head back to base. Let's head back to base. That is insane. That's going to be tough if we have to do that base in the Iron Man competition. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so... Tropical Island. What I'm looking for is the biome that those things spawned in the, uh, the, um, I don't know if they spawn at night, though. The golems. Oh, there's a golem. Okay. It's hard to see now that I don't have a headlight. Take the ship back and fix her up. Come up with a different strategy for that. Because that's just crazy. They can shoot in every direction. I can't seem to get a good angle on it to only prevent... to only make it so that one or two of them can shoot at it. I mean, it's like four or five of them. Oh, what did 
I lose there? I lost another light. <laughs> Ooh, and a block behind it? Wow. Wow, okay. So, yeah, let's head back, because we got our ass handed to us a bit here. I don't even know if I hit any of those turrets, to tell you the truth. That's brutal. That's brutal. How did I get off that guy? I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Okay, let's head back. I concede. I concede to that base. It will kick my butt. At least this ship's butt. I would have to make something completely with a bigger bulkhead, I guess. Make a base buster SV. Okay, so let's grab stuff out of the fridge and put it on the base. So we're going to need to grab all this. I can eat something right now. What's that? 11 minutes. Okay, so let's, let's get out. Uh, I can actually shut this thing down now. There we go. And we'll put our light up. Let's pop this block. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep it there for now. Makes it so that it prevents you from running off the side right away. Okay, so let's... Oops. No. Get this stuff in here. There, we'll put it in here. Okay. And meat, I guess. We'll put all the veggies, picked stuff in the other one. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. There we go. I need some lights in here. Those, those lights must be done now. And we can throw all this in the furnace. So the furnace is pumping out stuff as we speak. So that's cool. It's got us a whole crap ton of, uh, of stuff now. That's good. Good. Okay. I guess what I sh could look at, potentially, is bringing in, let's see, a restroom, Zascosium, I think I do have enough. I think I'll, I think I can actually bring this in. So let's send this to the factory. I love this thing. It flies so nice. So Zass and Arrest are the two. Yeah, we can just throw this in there right now. <laughs> uh, Zass and Arrestrium, yeah. This thing might actually be able to take on that uh, that POI because it's got rocket turrets. So I don't have to. All I have to do is just get close enough and try and avoid everything. And if the sh turrets launch, there it's a guaranteed hit pretty much because they're homing turrets right they're homing rockets so they if they shoot they hit um, 
so I think that's actually what we're going to do then is I will, um, I'll get the garden going. Oh, let's also get these lights here. Power station, get that stuff put away. Let's um, put that in there. And we'll just fill that up for now. That's fine. Okay. Well, I think we are done for this episode. I'll just quickly throw up some lights here. Where should I put a light? I think, um, middle of the room here. We'll do something like this. And then we can do what can we do? We can do corner lights on all the pillars. Let's try that and see what it looks like. Oh, I like that. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I actually really like that. That's cool. Okay. And I can crank those up. And then I could do that to this section too. I, to this even if I wanted, I guess. Like that. Okay. Um, we should put more of these up though. Is that the same? That's lined up there. Let's put one there. And one there. Okay. So let's go into our lights here. And I'll just regroup everything really quick here. I know it I know it messes with everything when you do that. See? But actually that's not so bad. I don't really care. I don't have very many cargo boxes right now, so it's really not that big of a deal. And then the builder is back. Okay, so Let's rename this. This is going to be uh, Builder. And this will be Ammo Fuel. Okay. How's the furnace doing? Oh, it's doing awesome. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, and yeah, we'll have enough Zascosium and Arrestrium right away to build this thing too. That's awesome. You know what? I'm going to take all of this stuff. All of this stuff and throw it in there. That'll speed it up. That'll speed it up. So I'll show you. So right now it's it's sitting at one hour thirty three minutes. As we start putting stuff in here, see it lowers the time down to one hour thirty one minutes, and it adds it contributes to that. So let's see. Mm, not much. Oh, max out the cobalt. Yeah, we're going too much on that. Okay, so power coils. Get that in there, get that in there. We can put those oscillators in there. Oh, we didn't need to do that. We didn't need the Neo. That's okay. It'll go over into my next thing I'm going to build anyway, and that's the CV. Uh, okay, so... Sath and Neo are done. The arrest room has started. 
let's see what um, the power coil does. So it adds to the Neo and the SATH and the arrest room. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. We're almost halfway, so we won't use it all up. Now, what is... Yeah, let's do the electronics. Uh, okay. Now, I don't... I think this is mostly Neo, isn't it? Five per... Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to use that. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, and we reduce the time by a bit. So as I loot stuff, I'll throw that in there. Or, you know what? I should really just... I've got the ore. I've got the ingots. I should just do it and spin it up. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So we'll grab this. Uh, actually, the only thing I need to grab out of here is like half of this and half of this. Because the rest of it I'm going to grab out of the furnace. Okay, let's take a look. So, we need, oh yeah, we need a full stack and a bit. Okay, and then copper, we need a lot. Okay, and then the arrestrium, we need most of it. Okay, Sathium, we're going to need a little bit of it. And 13 more. Okay, uh, what else? Silicone and Zascosium. So, same thing, we need a bit of the Zascosium here. Okay. And the final one, the silicone. Uh, that looks pretty close right there. Let's just do that. Okay. Start production. So, in an hour and a half, that will be ready to spawn. And we'll have an HV again. A good HV with a multi turret on it. That's exciting. And missiles. That's exciting too. That's really exciting. Okay, guys, I'm going to call this episode here. If you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to see when the next episode is published, subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on for the site. Okay, guys, this was awesome. Next episode, I'll have more of this done. I'll have more work done on the base. And uh, we'll have the, the HV ready to spawn in. And we'll, I'll have some ammo made for it and, and get it ready for a... Uh, for our, uh, We'll go check out the planet on the HV, I think. And, uh, you know, go get some more ore. It, it has drills on the front of it, so we can go do some real heavy-duty mining with it. Uh, I think it's going to be great. Well, guys, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>